Hi fellow classmates, welcome to week eight of public speaking. I just wanna say congratulations to each and every one of you. Um, I know it's only been eight weeks, but this has been a, a quite a bit of a journey for each and every one of us. I know public speaking is always nerve wracking and I hope that each and every one of you were able to find something to comfort you um, and ease your nerves as you go through public speaking. So for this um, speech, I want to talk to you all about confidence. I share this because confidence has helped me um, just throughout my whole life and journey, um, being a mother, being a wife, and um, just working full time. And now it's helping me through my education. Um, without confidence, I do not believe I would be where I am at today. I feel that it has helped me um, throughout all my journeys of different paths that I have taken um, in my lifetime. So my name is Felicia Flores. I am currently 34 years old. I am a full-time employee with the Santa Clara County Social Services Agency Department. I began my journey 12 years ago um, with the county. Um, I began working as an account clerk one with the county. I started working when I was 22 years old. I was really young at that time, um, but I knew when I first applied for a position with the county and I had my first interview, um, I felt very confident going in. Why? Because I had my daughter at a young age. I was 18 years old, and so I had to grow up really fast to, um, to support her and to be able to provide for her. So I knew I had to work hard and find a job that I would be able to support her and myself. Um, so, you know, if I didn't have confidence, I probably would have never had the courage to even apply for the county job. Um, but the day that I did interview, I went into that interview and I just had so much confidence and I believed in myself 100% and I knew that I could do it. Um, and two days later, sure enough, I did get the phone call and I was offered um, a job with the county and so at being at a young age um we are at the age of 22 we're just barely coming out learning about life um trying to find a career goals setting long-term goals um and so forth for ourselves um but for myself because i had i had to grow up at such a young age by the time i was 22 um i knew what i wanted and i knew where i wanted to be um, so I was very fortunate to have obtained a position within Santa Clara County. Um, prior to that, I didn't have much experience. I didn't have any college education. All I had was my high school diploma. So going into that interview that day, um, 12 years ago, I just knew I had to continue um, remaining confident um, in myself and believing that I can do it. And sure enough, I did. And here I am 12 years later. I am an eligibility worker um, with the Department of Social Services. This is a position that I've always wanted to be in. Um, I love working with people. I love servicing people. I want to work with the public and help those families or individuals that are in need. So this is the perfect position. Um, it took me a couple of years, took me about six years to slowly make my way up to become an eligibility worker. But once again, I just remained focused, worked hard, and I remained very confident. And I just had to go in there with so much confidence every time I interviewed. And I just had to believe in myself because if I didn't, I would be afraid, scared, nervous. And when I interviewed, who knows, I could have not have been offered any of those positions if I didn't have confidence and believe in myself. So prior to that, um, I've always set small term goals and that has helped me and guided me um, throughout my career and my um, now it's helping me through um, my college um, education. Um, so I will just be setting small goals that I know that I can achieve. Um, so um, an example of a process that has helped me by setting small goals was Enrolling into Eastern Gateway Community College, um, I knew I've always wanted to go to college ever since I was really young, um, but things just didn't work out the way I wanted them to be, to um, turn out, but it's never too late to go to college, so don't ever feel that you're too old um, to accomplish anything because we can accomplish anything we want as long as we set our mind to and we stay focused and engaged. 
So um, prior to signing up to Eastern Gateway Community College, uh, June of 2018, I was, um, this program was brought up and I grew interest in it. And I figured um, this is something that I can, you know, um, make work like I can, um, you know, it will fit in with my lifestyle and my busy, you know, work schedule, um, life schedule, mom schedule and so forth. So I started by setting small goals. Um, I just started writing the small goals and the small, the steps that I needed to take to begin my um, enrollment process with Eastern Gateway Community College. So by writing down um, these small goals, it helped me achieve them. Um, each one, you know, step by step, each one um, separately. And so my long-term goal was to, my long-term goal is to get my bachelor's degree in sociology. So I feel by writing down these small goals um, and just starting classes with Eastern Gateway to get my AA, um, this has been um, a step closer to getting my bachelor's degree. So um, this has just given me so much more confidence now that I'm enrolled and I am at the end of my second semester with Eastern Gateway College. So my confidence and my motivation is 200% even more than it was when I first started Eastern Gateway Community College. Um, because now that I'm enrolled and I'm starting the process, it's just been a smooth transition and slowly I am making my way to... Um, getting my AA within the next year or year, year and a half or so. Um, so just think about this, give yourself, just another uh, food for thought is, you know, we are the only ones that can help us achieve and, and help us achieve our goals. Um, nobody else can do it for us. So if you don't believe in yourself, you, it's hard to say. I don't want to say you won't achieve anything, but if you don't give yourself the credit and pretty much believe in yourself, um, then others are not going to believe in us. So we need to start with ourselves first. Be confident in yourself. Don't ever feel that you're anything less because we are humans. We're strong. We have um, strong mindsets. We can get through anything um, in life. You know, just you've got to be confident and you will be able to achieve um, all your goals. So to conclude with everything, um, anything's possible. I just want to be an example that no matter how hard life can be, um, just stay confident and you can accomplish anything in life. Having my daughter at such a young age, I didn't think that it would push me to be who I am today. Um, but it helps, it has helped me grow and to be the person I am, um, and to be confident in life. And because I was confident in life, I have become a long way and it's only going to continue. So if you leave, if any of you take anything from my speech is just believe in yourself and don't give up. Well, that concludes my, um, speech for you all. Good luck and best wishes to each and every one of you. Thank you.